Here's your local weather authority forecast on Fox 24 News. Well, good morning, everybody. We've got such beautiful conditions out there. We were treated to a very pleasant sunrise earlier in the day. Now we've got some blue skies overhead and very expansive blue skies, I might add. Not even a single cloud getting picked up here on our sky tracker. Conditions, again, are looking fantastic out there. And they're likely to stay that way as we continue on into the afternoon time. Temperatures will be picking up a little tiny, tiny bit warmer than what we saw yesterday afternoon. Highs at 82 today, but we are still coming in below average for this time of year with the average high temperature sitting at 94 degrees. Low temperatures coming in at 60 degrees compared to that normal of 68. So we are going to be below average for both lows and highs. Today, generally a cooler day than the season may suggest, but hard to complain about temperatures in the 80s, clear skies overhead. We've got some good conditions thanks to this really, really strange pattern overhead here in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Notice this cloud cover here on the western side of our viewing area tracking down to the due south wrapping around us here in West Texas and then moving off to the due north on the eastern side of our viewing area. A very, very curious setup, but you know what? Not complaining, or at least you're not going to hear any complaints from me because it means good weather here in West Texas. It also means any rain is going to be going right, right around us here in West Texas. So that is great for our thunderstorm chances, which means we are finally getting a break from those storm chances. We've seen a very active week this week. We saw a very active week last week, and now clear skies is going to be the name of the game today. High temperatures will be warming into the low 80s just after that 5 p.m. mark. We'll be hitting our high temperature at 82 degrees, warming up just a tiny bit over what we had yesterday, but most of the day is going to be spent in the 70s. So a cool day. As we head to the sunset hours, we are going to see our temperatures backing off down into the upper 70s. So if you have plans out there this evening. It is Friday night. Make sure to bring a jacket with you if you're cold natured. It will be a little bit cool out there as well. Wind speeds picking up to about 10 15 miles per hour, so it can be a little bit breezy, making things feel just that much cooler. Now, as we get into the afternoon hours, notice this counterclockwise flow pattern here to the clouds. That indicates the presence of a low pressure, and that's what we were taking a look at on the satellite and radar. It's just taking an unusual shape. Now, most low pressures will kick up some thunderstorms, but as you can see here behind me, this low pressure is not the standard low. This one is actually going to be keeping those thunderstorms away from our viewing area, at least until we get to Saturday afternoon. We could see some thunderstorms sprouting up at the higher elevations in the Marfa Plateau, and as we head to the evening hours, some of those storms could sweep in from southeast New Mexico, moving into the Van Horn Mountains. But notice the basin staying very clear throughout the entirety of the weekend. So great news there. We are going to be seeing a fantastic set of conditions as we do head into those weekend days. 82 degrees are high today, 86 tomorrow and 89 on Sunday. We'll pick up to the 90s starting as early as Monday of next week, getting a little dicey there. But we also have a small, small 20% chance for thunderstorms to pop up Monday morning before sunrise.